Hi, my name is Rabab. And I'm Hana. And, and we, we are from, from Harmony, Harmony Public, Public Schools. Schools. Have you ever wondered about how magnetics and large heavy batteries contribute to the creation of electrical energy found in motors of cars and vehicles? This is called electromagnetism, electricity generated by the use of a magnet and a positive and negative forces of a battery. The homopolar motor is a great way to explain how these two objects work together to create the flow of electrical energy in motors. André Marie Ampère, a French physicist, founded the science in electrodynamics known as electromagnetism. Later Danish physicist Hans Christian Ørsted discovered a phenomenon that established a relationship between electricity and magnetism. Influenced by Orsted's discovery, Ampere performed a series of experiments designed to elucidate the relationship between an electric current flow and magnetism. In the experiments, Ampere showed two parallel wires carrying electric currents magnetically to attract each other when the currents are in the same direction and repel if the currents are in the opposite direction. This experiment led Ampere to formulate the law of electromagnetism. About a year after electromagnetism was discovered, a scientist, Michael Faraday, went on to build two devices to produce what he called the electromagnetic rotation, one of them now known as the homopolar motor. These inventions formed the foundation of modern electromagnetic technology. In his excitement, Faraday published results without acknowledging his work with two other scientists he worked with, Wollaston and Davy, which contributed to Faraday's assignment to other activities which consequently prevented his involvement in electromagnetic research in later years. Our PBL project helped understand how magnets and batteries work together to create electrical flow used in motors, aka electromagnetism. To demonstrate this, we used a regular AA battery, uncoated copper wire, a neodymium magnet that is 12 meters long and 6 millimeters thick, and scissors. First, attach the neodymium magnet to the negative side of the battery. Next, cut out about 10 inches of copper wire to use for the experiment. The smaller the wire, the faster it spins. Bend your copper wire into a V-shape, then mold your wire around your battery in any shape you desire as long as the pivot point of the V is in contact with the battery's positive point and the remaining two ends of the copper wire are in contact with the magnet. Once in contact, the wire will begin to spin around the vertical axis of the battery. Be cautious about the wire while it is spinning as it may get too hot after some time. When the positive and negative terminals of the battery are connected by the wire, electron currents begin to flow through the wire. Copper was the best conductor for this experiment. The electric current flows and presses the magnetic field, experiencing a force known as the Lorentz force. For our ELA component of our PBL project, we wrote 10 journal entries consisting of our research and our observations during the experiment. One of the main problems we encountered was the formation of the copper wire. After several trials and errors, we were finally able to form the wire in the right position. watching Harmony Public Schools.